In this episode, I'll talk about the process principle of VAT photopolymerization. If you remember, VAT photopolymerization was defined as a process in which liquid photopolymer in a VAT is selectively cured by, liquid, uh, by light activated polymerization. And you see here a couple of parts. The tower has got some siblings and other parts that I will talk about as we're moving uh, through this um, short series on VP. VAT photopolymerization I often abbreviate with VP. So there's other common names and trade names for VAT photopolymerization. The original term coined by 3D Systems and Chakal, who invented that process, was stereolithography, SLA or SL. Uh, Microstereolography is used, direct light processing, sometimes also called digital light processing, continuous liquid interface printing, digital light synthesis, continuous light a direct light processing. So there's a couple of terminologies. They all mean the same uh, class of processes, VAT photopolymerization. Here is a schematic from additively of the process of one configuration that was the initial one. And we're starting off with that. You see the different components here. We have a VAT of that liquid photopolymer, a built platform that can be lowered. We have the build part here that's already partially built. And we see here uh, detailed um, in a little lighter color the support structure that's needed. We have a sweeper to even out the surface. And here we have the, um, the light source, the laser, laser beam, the lenses that shape it, and an XY scanning mirror that helps, the la helps us trace the laser in the pattern that we need. So in the process, what's happening? Here we have already started. Um, Assuming we are just done with one layer, the build platform moves down by one layer height. That could be 50, 250 micrometers. The resin is flowing over that surface and is flooding the little dots of, uh, of part that are still visible, these little uh, squares. And so the flow behavior of the material is very important that we can uh, that we can coat that. A sweeper is going over the top to make sure the coating is even. And then um, the XY scanning mirror is actually tracing the laser um, according to the pattern that we want to create in that layer. In that case, more of these squares. Once all the areas are traced and cured by UV light um, that are necessary for that layer, the platform moves up by another layer. More resin is flowing over the top. We're sweeping, we're UV curing, we're lowering, and so on. So for this process, it's really important that we understand the curing behavior and also the flow behavior of the resin as it's recoding. Next up, we're going to watch a video by Solid Concepts. They um, they were bought by Stratasys, and they, they made some really cool videos a couple of years ago that highlight first the process flow, then actually showing you inside of the machine how the process is working, and then they also talk about a couple of applications. And I, I might stop the, the video a little earlier, but let's check this out. Stereolithography is a rapid prototyping process used to create parts from 3D CAD data in a matter of hours. SLA is a highly accurate additive manufacturing process and may also be referred to as rapid prototyping or 3D printing. Models created with this technology are typically used as concept models, for form and fit studies, or as master patterns for molding techniques. The SLA process begins when CAD data is sliced into thin cross-sections or layers, typically about six thousandths of an inch thick. This data is then transferred to an SLA additive manufacturing system containing a vat of UV curable photopolymer. The machine begins to build the part one layer at a time. Each layer is constructed from an ultraviolet laser that is directed by X and Y scanning mirrors. As the laser traces the cross section on the surface of the resin, the liquid material is hardened on contact. Once a layer is complete, the build platform is indexed down to make room for the next layer. 
A recoder blade moves across the surface, ensuring a thin coat of fresh liquid resin is evenly spread over the object. The laser continues to trace and form each layer atop the previous layer, building from the bottom up. The completed part is then carefully removed from the liquid and separated from the platform. A chemical bath removes excess resin and the part is cured in an ultraviolet oven. Any support structures are removed at this time. With numerous hand sanding and professional paint options available through service providers such as Solid Concepts, stereolithography has become an excellent economic choice for rapid appearance models. A wide variety of industries have embraced SLA, including medical, automotive, entertainment, aerospace, and consumer products. So as you saw in this video, uh, they, they named a couple of applications and we'll talk in a second about more and as, as the uh, process has evolved since uh, 2013. But the process principle is still the same. Um, that's, that it's, it, it's based on the same um, principle.